Well, in this episode, I just want us to discuss one very simple thing. If you have been in a deliverance service anywhere, whether in South Africa, whether in UK, whether in Thessalonica, whether you are in uh, uh, Babylon or you are in uh, Asia or you are in Africa, there is one thing that has an impact within a deliverance setup that you will definitely know and you will definitely relate with when I talk about. And this is one part of this episode. Very, very important part we want to deal with today. There is always a session when demons are cast out. Well, there are different theologies in this because some people don't believe in casting out demons. There are some ministries don't believe in casting out demons. There are some ministries don't believe demons exist. I can tell you that. But then this is a concept where we want to deal with the spirit, soul, and body of a human being. Sometimes I do see in deliverance cases where somebody is cast out, the demon is cast out, out of somebody, and then you hear the demon talk about, I'm sent out from someplace so and so in, in the concept. Now, so and so talking, and he is or she is alive, but in a different place so far. You hear that? In a different place so far, so far away, but then speaking at beyond reduced time, reduced distance. A man can be in a distant place, but then still manifest in another place. He's not omnipotent, he's not omniscient, or he's not omni. Uh, present. He is just a person inside another. Well, I've really thought about this thing and it has really come to my understanding. Very many times I've really thought about it. Very many times. I've really thought about this thing and sometimes I don't even get it properly. Sometimes I don't even get it. And uh, I realize when a demon comes out of a person saying, he is from a certain place in a certain person and mentioning a name of a person that is still alive physically in a different place and we'll be talking about i am there and talking about is there it brings in a lot of conclusions and a lot of things that does not really sound correct in some other ways and it makes me think like a man's spirit can travel into another realm. A man's spirit can travel into a different dimension physically. And if you've been in such places, you realize there are things that happen mysteriously in a man. A man, and sometimes you can hear even a bird can travel distance like 20 kilometers there's one delivery service that was there in squan a long time where a dove could carry 20 liters of concoction to be taken in canada and you would take one whole day flying a dove flying on air carrying 20 liters of this kind of uh, concoction and you will be wondering ah how how can this be possible but then it is possible because it has happened before and it's already something that happens. But then it's an indication that a man can travel into different dimensions. I know this is a very controversial topic that I've done just a sketchy, sketchy de de delivery of this in this episode. It's a very sketchy one. But if you want to do a deeper one, maybe you will say now we come alive on a live show we'll be starting live live kind of uh, episodes live episodes that will take around one hour or one and a half hours very soon to discuss such kind of uh, this i know we have very many people who are very much in wisdom in this channel and we would really want to use their wisdom to also help us nobody is all knowing nobody is all 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 understanding but we can make use of another person people like uh, i know i don't want to mention them because if i start mentioning two names three names i'll have to mention all the names but i cannot mention everybody here but there are very many people 
that are very knowledgeable in the things of the spirit and also in the normal basic Christian belief and basic setting of Christianity. But in this one, I want us to understand that a man can occupy two spaces at the same time. When somebody's deliverance is taking place and mentioning a man that is like 100 kilometers away or 200, sometimes 300 kilometers or 1,000 kilometers away, what does that mean to you? To me, I've really done a little study about this and I realized a man can travel in another man's spirit. Yeah. A man can be an angel and a demon in either way. Not at the same time, sorry. In either way, not at the same time. A bad man can turn out to be a demon and a good man can turn out to be God's instrument as an angel of life. That is why even in the days of the Old Testament, angels used to appear just like a human being. You may meet me like this in, uh, in, 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 in Cape Town, in South Africa. And then you are like, ah, I've talked to this man. He was in, 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 in Cairo just a few seconds ago. No, sometimes the image of a man can travel into a different dimension. And we all understand the same concept. Do you think if we do live coverage of this kind of uh, episodes, it will be of good to others or this? Please, I need your indulgence in this. Please talk to us. If you know, we can do live and, and, and involve people into this kind of episodes. It will be a very good thing. So talk to me in the comment section and let us see what we have next. May God bless you. God increase you and make you a very big pillar everywhere you go. Timothy Profitable, see you next episode.